So now let's talk about how to draw an attributed graph like this. And as you remember, we have talked about how to create an attributed graph in previous parts in details, but now let's review this code. So as you can see here, we are importing Matplotlib for plotting. We are importing network X for working with networks and graphs. Here we are creating an empty graph. We are assigning a name for that graph. And here we are adding some nodes with attributes. For example, this is node A, and this is uh, its corresponding attributes and a dictionary. And these are the edges which we want to add. You can see that it node AC, and this is the corresponding attribute for this edge. And this is the coordinate of each node which you want to plot. So you can see, for example, node A is in this coordinate for plotting. So this is the corresponding coordinate for each node for plotting purposes. And here we can see that we are plotting these stuff and we are defining some margins and we are showing the graph. So if I run a code, you can see here's the output. So now let's talk about how to create an attributed graph like this. So in order to do so, first of all, we should define the positions of the node labels. These are the node labels, and we should define the positions for node labels. And in order to do so, we have two methods. The first method is hand typing those positions of node labels, and the second method is using a for loop. And first of all, we are going to talk about how to hand type those positions, I mean those node label positions. And by the end of the video, we are going to talk about the for loop as well. So for hand typing the positions of node attributes, we can do the same thing as the positions for the nodes. So we can define another dictionary. And for example, we want to call that the positions of node attributes. And for example, this is the position, I mean, this is the coordinate for node A. I mean, this is the position of this label. And for example, this is the uh, position of the label of node B. I mean, uh, this label and etc. So in order to plot these labels, you want to use another function. So we simply type nx, which is the network x package. You can see that here we have imported network x as nx. Then we want to use another function. So we simply uh, type draw network x labels. So we want to use this function in order to draw those labels. So the first argument which we should pass is the graph. So the name of our graph is g. And the second argument is the positions. So you can see that this is the positions of our labels. You can see that this is a dictionary. So that's it. We pass that. And you want to use uh, these font color, font size, and font family, and font weight. That's it. But the only difference is you want to use the black color for the, for the uh, font color. So now if I run a code, you can see here's the output. But as you can see, these labels are the names of each node, and they are not the attributes of each node. And this is not the thing that we want. So we should customize these labels. So we should customize these labels and we should define the labels in order to manipulate that and in order to plot those labels as well. So let's do that. But first of all, let's comment all of these lines because I want to do something. And here I simply type for every node in G dot nodes and we pass data equals to true because you want to get the data, I mean the attributes of each node as well. So here we want to print uh, the node and if I run a code, you can see that it returns uh, the node itself and a corresponding dictionary which are the attributes, I mean, which are the features. So as a matter of fact, we can use uh, this format as well. So we can simply type for every node and for every dictionary, because you can see that this is the node name and this is the corresponding dictionary for that. So you can see that this returns two things. The first thing is the node itself and the other one is the dictionary. So we want to print the node and also we want to print the dictionary. And let's print something in order to separate each of them, and if I run a code, you can see, for example, this is node A, and this is the corresponding dictionary, this is node B, and this is the corresponding dictionary, and etc. And now we can use this in order to define those labels. So here, I can use a dictionary comprehension. So I simply type for every node and its corresponding dictionary in G 
dot nodes and remember that we should pass data equals to true because you want to get the attributes as well so the dictionary that we want to create so the dictionary that we want to create is the node as the key and the corresponding value which you want to create is you can see that here you can see we want to put the age and also the gender in parentheses so from this dictionary from this dictionary we want to get we want to get the age argument of our dictionary for the first element in that tuple and the second tuple and in the and the second value in that tuple is going to be the gender so that's it so as you can see here the node is going to be the key for our dictionary and this is going to be the value for our dictionary you can see that it's a tuple with two elements the first element is the corresponding age and the second element is the corresponding gender so that's it and let's name this for example node labels that's it node labels and now here we want to use this so let's uncomment all of these and here after this we want to define another argument which is called labels and the labels is going to be the node labels variables so now if i run a code so here is the output but as you can see the font size of the labels are very big so let's make them smaller so let's do that here i want to define for example font size equal to 12 and now once again if i run a code you can see now it's much better so that's it and also let's delete all of these for loops so that's it you can see that we have defined the node labels and we have drawn those node labels on our graph so now let's talk about how to create uh, these edges like this so once again let's comment all of these and here if i use a for loop so i simply type for every edge in g dot edges and also I want to pass data equal to true because I want to get the attributes as well. So if I print the edge and if I run a code, you can see it returns a couple of things. So as you can see, the first two arguments are the names of those nodes and the third argument is the corresponding dictionary. So we can use the same thing as we have did in node labels. So we can simply, for example, pass U and V and their corresponding dictionary. So these are uh, the first two arguments which are the nodes and this is the corresponding dictionary so let's print that so let's print u and v and also you want to print the dictionary as well and let's print something like this in order to separate all this stuff and now if i run a code you can see here is the output for example but between a and c the weight is one between b and c the weight is 0 0.5 and etc so we want to use this format in order to define the edge labels as well so now let's define our dictionary so in order to do so we simply type for u and v and their corresponding dictionary in g dot edges and we should pass data equals to true because we want to get the attributes as well that's it and the thing that we want to store in our dictionary is a pair of nodes as the key so the pairs of nodes i mean u and v as the key and their corresponding value is going to be the weight of that dictionary the weight arguments of that dictionary so we simply use that the weight of that edge and we have sorted this in a variable let's say called edge labels that's it and now here we want to define another function in order to plot the edges so we simply type annex dot draw and network x edge labels so we want to use this function in order to draw the edge labels the first argument which we should pass is the name of our graph which is a g and the second one is the position the positions of nodes because you want to connect those nodes with edges so this is going to be the positions of nodes so we can see that the positions of nodes is this variable you can see that these are the positions of each node that's it and we simply want to use other things as well so we can see the edge labels is this variable is this variable and the other argument is the label position which i pass 0 0.5 0 0.5 means i want to put the labels exactly in the middle of that edge 
So now if I run the code, you can see here is the output and we get the same thing. And if you want to, for example, change the color of these edges, you can do that as well. So here you can see that we have an argument here called edge color, which I can pass, for example, light gray. And if I run the code, you can see here is the output. And as you can see, this is exactly like this one. And now let's delete all of these for loops because we don't need them anymore. So that's it. And now let's talk about how we can use a for loop instead of this hand typing method for defining the positions of node attributes. So now instead of hand typing the positions of node attributes, we want to use a for loop. So that's it. So first of all, we want to define an empty dictionary, which is called positions of node attributes, and we want to use a for loop. And inside that for loop, we want to add values to this dictionary, to this empty dictionary. So we want to use a for loop uh, for this position dictionary. So we simply type for every node and its corresponding coordinate, which consists of x coordinate and y coordinate and position dot items so as a matter of fact we are using a full loop for this uh, position dictionary so we are saying for every item in this position dictionary we want to get the node and its corresponding uh, coordinate which consists of the x coordinate and the y coordinates and now we want to add values to this dictionary i mean positions of node attributes so what we want to add to this position node attributes is we want to use the node as a key so you can see for example in this dictionary the node's name i mean the names of each node is the key for that dictionary so we want to do the same thing so you can see the key is going to be the name of each node and the corresponding value is going to be a tuple i mean the coordinate so that's it and what we want to do is we want to use uh, the x and y coordinates of each node so we don't want to change the x coordinate but we want to change the y coordinate. So for example, we want to subtract 0.9 from the y coordinate because you want to put the label below each node. That's it. So here, as you can see, instead of hand typing the position node attributes dictionary, we are using a for loop. So now, once again, if I run a code, you can see here's the output and we have labels below each node. And as it is very obvious, because in the hand typing method, we have more control in order to define the node labels positions. So as you can see, this chart is more beautiful than this chart, because, for example, the location of node B, the location of the label of node B is in a better place than this chart. Now, I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.